Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing my full review of the Vero Engineering Neuron. But first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. All right, cool. Let's get into it. So here we have the Vero Engineering Neuron. This is an awesome knife. This is this was kind of, um, you know, I got this in December and this was kind of my surprise, uh, surprise knife that I, you know, like a surprisingly uh, enjoyable knife um, to end the year on. And the reason why it was a surprise to me is this is, if you're looking for the lock or if this is a frame lock or a liner lock, there is no lock. So this is a non-locking knife, a double detent non-locking knife. So there's two detent holes, two detent balls, and that's what kind of helps deploy the knife and keep the knife in place just a little bit. There's a little bit of resistance, but of course, if you push hard enough, it closes. So there is no lock on this guy. So you have to be a little bit careful, but if you're used to, let's say slip joints or another non-locking knife, I think you'll be fine. Um, it was a concern of mine initially when I got this. Um, it's had pretty pretty positive um, first impressions for me. Definitely check out that video um, where I kind of where I do my unboxing and go into the details. Um, but this is a, this is a great little knife. Not cheap. <laughs> this thing was I think like 300, 300 bucks. Um, it's full titanium, full titanium scales, titanium liners. There is some internal milling. It's it's not. This is not a light knife, even though it is so small. You know, this fits in the palm of my hand. So it's not a large knife. One um, cool thing about this is it looks exactly like... I don't think I... Let's see if I have my... Oh, maybe. Yeah, okay, cool. So I have my Axon on the table, luckily. So do you see the family resemblance? <laughs> um, so it's a... It's basically a mini Axon. And... Uh, Vero made a mini axon, which is locking, you know, it's a, I think it's a liner lock, but you can see, I mean, this is, this is the same knife, but of course this one does not lock. Um, both these knives have very similar uh, aesthetics, similar design. You have the, the they call it the, the V spot where you can, you know, middle finger flick the knife. This kind of really interesting, cool sheep's foot uh, blade shape. Similar, very similar. Let's flip them over. Both have the Vero clip that some people don't like. And the Axon has a full backspacer while the, and check out this action by the way. Oh, ridiculously, ridiculously smooth on the Axon. Um, and of course this has just the um, like little barrel spacer standoff thing that actually goes all the way through. So it's one screw goes all the way through into the clip. Where is the clip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, that's it. So th this is constructed a little bit differently than than his than the Axon or than his um, locking knives. Um, let's do a little, just a quick size comparison. You guys just saw the Axon, how that compared. Let's get out the VBR, which is obviously a much larger knife. And let's go ahead and do the uh, Quiet Carry Drift, um, which is larger, but you know, more similar size comparison. Check this out. So the Neuron is gonna be coming in, I think it's like two and a half inches. Okay, yeah, so just maybe two. Uh, yeah, 2.75 maybe. And then overall, we got a little over six. On the waypoint, we got three inch blade and just under seven. And then of course the VBR is about three, yeah, three and a half on the blade and then eight overall. So you can see this is a tiny knife, definitely a fifth pocket knife or like a backup pocket knife. This is, I'm not gonna say this is the ultimate box cutter, but it is definitely, you know, one of my top three 
box cutting knives um, or package opening knives. I'll get the BBR out of the way and I'm gonna replace it with, um, I happen to still have this on my desk. I'm gonna replace it with the Protec Runt, I think the Runt 5. So this does take the cake for um, ultimate box cutter. And you guys will see that in my full review of this guy, but let's get the waypoint out of, not the waypoint, the drift. Let's get the drift out of the way. And you can see how these match up both, both small. The runt is a little bit smaller, but the reverse tanto and the sheep's foot just so, so handy and comfortable for if you need to, you know, open an Amazon package or an envelope or anything like that. These two are just, just can't be beat. So right now the runt is uh, number in number one in, in first place. It's it's number one for uh, ultimate box cutter, but the uh, and also the the runt locks. But the neuron is a close second for me right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put this put away just to the side. Um, so let's go ahead and talk, um, you know, specs and kind of and which variation I got. They had. Ton, Vero put up a ton of these knives. Well, for you know, for a small production, he put up more than normal. Um, and they had G10 and carbon fiber and just like satin and crazy combos. I opted for the stone wash on stone wash. So we have a stone wash sheep's foot blade. Awesome, awesome stone wash from Best Tech, of course. All of Vero's knives are produced by Best Tech. They do a phenomenal job. I mean, ridiculous, ridiculous production and machining, just super, super nice. And you have that same stone wash on the handle. Again, all titanium. Stone wash, stone wash. So that way, if you use this knife or you beat it up or whatever, if you're opening a lot of packages, if you're you know, I don't know if this is a hard use knife because it's a non-locking knife. You don't want to accidentally close it on your fingers. But if you're beating this knife up, it's not going to show any of the wear because you got stone wash on stone wash. Let's go ahead and check the hardware real quick. Let's see, do I have this T8? Yes, this is T8. So, okay, T8. And, well, that is really cool. Only two screws, and they're both T8. One holding the clip and the body and the little standoff thing, and then one on the pivot. So really clean, kind of typical Vero um, uh, in engineering, <laughs> typical Vero design. Uh, one really cool thing about this knife is there are multiple deployment methods. This is similar to the Nimble the EMP EDC Nimble in that respect. You can do the flipper, which works really well, surprisingly well. I was a little bit worried about it just because it um, kind of has that, uh, I don't know about awkward flipping shape, but it just doesn't feel, when you press on it, it feels like, like, I don't know, is the detent gonna carry it? I'm not sure, but it does. And you can also do a front flipper, front flip. Yes, this does work. It's not the most elegant uh, front flip of, you know, of my life, but that it does work as a front flipper and it is designed to be uh, front flipped. Also, you can do a uh, kind of slow roll, although it's a little awkward for me to do the slow roll. And then, you, of course, you can do the um, middle finger flick. So when I opened this knife, when I carried this knife, my go-tos were um, regular flipper and... Uh, the, the the middle finger flick. I felt like I, I, I those those were the two most comfortable ones for me. One thing that I still have not gotten the hang of is the close on this. I mean, you can just press it and like, you know, close it like normally. But you know, you see Vero kind of do this little like, yeah. So I haven't I haven't mastered that yet. This kind of little push where it breaks the detent back and closes the knife. So eh. It's okay, but I haven't really mastered that yet. The Ergos are pretty good. The, the knife is a little too small for my hand. So I don't know if you, 
you're even supposed to be holding it like this, you know, because it is a non-locking knife. When I use this knife, I kept my fingers out of the blade path and I did this little kind of pinch grip and I was cutting open boxes. So I feel like this isn't, this is how I would normally hold a knife, but I'll, at the same time, I don't want to close it on my fingers. So when I did any cutting, I was pinching the knife, kind of choking up a little bit. I even did, um, a few cuts like this where, although I don't want to close the knife on my hand, my fingers are out of the way, so I can kind of get into some, you know, if it's opening a package or whatever it is, more detailed um, cutting. So you just have to be aware that this knife <laughs> could close on your fingers, that's all. I think most people, oh, there we go. I, I got the, uh, the close, ah, damn it. Um, but ergos are good. I mean, this, this is not my traditional grip per se, but it's, it is comfortable. You know, I, I, I enjoy the cutting in this grip, even though I'm more of a, you know, a frame lock guy, <laughs> you know, if I had to choose, but, um, ergos, I would say are, are good. I like that they numbered, Vero number, Vero and Bestec numbered the knives. So I know exactly which number this is. That's a huge plus in my book. It, when I don't know what number the knife is, it's just less special. It might be a great knife. I might really enjoy the knife, but knowing that this could be number 10,000 or number one, and I'm unsure which it is, kind of kind of bugs me. For As far as carry goes, this thing is great. This was so comfortable. I carried this mostly in shorts, and I um, had zero issues with the clip. The clip was easy and like you know I was wearing like flexible you know like not I like athletic shorts you know so this it went right in my pocket no problem I pulled it right out of my pocket <laughs> no problem um, so zero issues with the clip and some people you know think that the Vero clip has a hot spot which it kind of does but maybe because I'm holding the knife in a different way um, I just don't I don't get that same pokey. I think just because my hand lines up in a different way because the clip is smaller and the knife is smaller, I don't get that pokiness at the end of the clip. And retention was not too strong. I mean, you can see it looks like it's gonna be too strong. It's almost flush with the uh, with the scale, but it wasn't for me. And that's in shorts. You know, I didn't even wear jeans or regular pants with this knife. This was mainly in shorts. So carry was was great um action action is it's kind of its own category right because it's do i compare this to a slip joint do i compare it to a liner lock do i compare it to another vero knife i don't know i don't know but action is good deployment is good i'll see if i can fail it uh let's see yeah so of course you you can fail it because the d10 is not even though it is a double detent, it's not like a strong detent. It's not going to... Well, yeah. But the, the action is good. You know, when, when you're kind of... If, if I, if I want to fail it, I can. But did it fail in any of my attempts when I was carrying this? No. Not once. So, and of course, mostly I was middle finger flicking it, which doesn't fail. Um, the close closing action is... It's really satisfying when you get it right. But for some reason, yeah, okay, there we go. Um, for some reason, I can't get it every time, which kind of <laughs> kind of drives me a little bit crazy. Oh, like, I feel like I have to keep doing it. Let's see. Oh, my God. So, anyway, this is what I spent a lot of my time doing with this knife. It's just, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> um... It also says Vero on the spine of the blade, which I think is cool. It's classy. Overall, this is a really good knife. I mean, it's just a solid fifth pocket knife. Um, a small backup, a box cutter, a kind of, you know, easy knife to carry, easy knife to either throw in your pocket or clip on your belt or clip into your pocket. Um, because this is full titanium liners, titanium scales, it, um, you know, warrants a higher price tag. I don't know if it warrants 
three hundred dollar price tag. I, I, I'm, I'm guess, I'm guessing that's what it was. I, I kind of forget, but I remember it being around, around three hundred, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. But um, I'm not sure that this warrants that type of price tag, seeing as how, you know, the full size frame lock axon is is similarly priced, um, from what I remember. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Post the prices, whatever. But um, I think that. As far as downsides to this knife go, pricing is definitely one of them. Um, is 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 the is the you know the fact that it doesn't lock a downside? Uh, I mean, it's a non-locking knife. I knew what I was getting into when I bought it, so it's not a downside, but it's it's not my preference. Um, the the action on deployment is good. It's it's um. Oh, there we go. I got the, I got the, uh, the clothes right on. Um, but as far as finish goes, aesthetics, the Bureau nailed it. Best Tech nailed it. Um, so there are not that many downsides to this knife. I mean, I just, I just went through them and, and the main one is, is just price. That's, that's really my, my only gripe. Um, everything else is pretty cool. This, this knife does exactly what it's set out to do, which is be a backup uh, kind of cool, functional, easy, easy to carry um, pocket knife with every um, method of deployment. So overall, I think this is a solid knife, not a lot of critiques. Do I want to carry it every day? Mm, I don't know. I mean, is it easy to carry? Can I just throw it in with something else? 100%. 100%. Is the non-locking, um, you know, the, the fact that it is non-locking uh, a deal breaker for me as far as everyday carry goes? Kind of, because I don't I don't want to worry about that. I don't want to worry about it closing on my, on my fingers. Um, but I had a, a lot of fun carrying this guy, and I'm definitely interested to see what is coming next from Vero. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Knife Standards. I will catch you later.